on McLovin News. Here reporting in myself, McLovin News, reporting the reporter here on this article here by 7K PLC. A mom left her three kids at home alone for days when she went to Florida for a friend's liposuction surgery, police state. So a judge ruled that a 32 year old Dom Domique Knowles put her children in danger, and I couldn't agree more as I've already read this article. A special shout out to Kelly Kennedy and Emily Van D. Reet. Published out here October 22nd at 10.27 a.m. Updated about eight hours ago. This is the f latest update for it. She's facing sincere six months in jail for the fact that all she did in the entire duration of this entire article, as it shows and clear that you guys can read it, you'll find the full link and source and site in the description. All she did was rush on down to Florida, spent a three-day trip, left her kids, all but one, her eight-month-old kid with her, and left the other three behind. And she had uh, special kids uh, in there which were involved, and of which a teacher stood up and did the right thing, causing a question when the interaction was going on between the kids and the mom through her form of what she thought was sufficient to leave the kids with monitoring through Facebook uh, cam chat and her own personal small purchased little in-home cameras that she purchased, such as like Canary or other types of small cameras, which the police have already evaluated that she put her kids in, in extreme danger as from the fact that she had neglected and left them over a friend's liposuction treatment to be there for a friend. She left her own kids in such poor care in that concept without really checking on them at all and using FaceTime on a laptop and monitoring them from the home security cameras. So it's a big shout out here that this is a reason why I do what I do here proudly in my, my reporting on articles that catch my attention. And this is one of them right there where a mom is going to be learning the harsh lesson and hopefully she and her kids can reheal through this difficult time as she's going to be facing sincere jail time. Hopefully there are family members there at least six months. That's serious enough. She's not going to be there with her kids. And I'm sure it was a traumatic and horrible experience for them to have to go through that without their mother and having to be put in that situation without anybody to be there to provide food or meals for them other than Uber Eats that they were allowed to get from her ordering them and such a high risk that they could have been faced as minors with any other interaction that could have happened during that time since she was not around. Police have already found out that the apartment was filled with liquid spilled all over the floor and the two twin girls slipped and fell. So there was already a clear factor there that the prosecuting attorney, Michael Maloney, and I couldn't agree more, was horrified when he got the case here. It's a heartbreaking factor, and hopefully this mother learns a valuable lesson here and that she can reheal with her kids and their kids can get the proper help and care, as I'm sure they have loving family members, as I certainly hope will be there to step in. Um, as it points out here in the article, her own mother didn't even know what was going on because she lied to her own mother. It shows it here that she had lied to her mother about her intentions of where she was going and it shows it right there so that speaks loud enough she couldn't even be honest to her own mother the children's grandma and that speaks volumes hopefully the grandmother has stepped in that's my full reporting in mclovin trademark name reporter thank you for watching so check the full link in the article in the description will be posted thank you for checking in